a game I had high expectations for to compete in the same genre of Dead by Daylight, is in my eyes dying an alarming rate. Let's chat about it. So we can use both SteamDB and the Steam charts to compare. Now, some people might say, well, what about the Game Pass? What about this, that, and the other thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The fact is, it's dying. And most of the time, when you use the Steam charts and you use SteamDB, most of the time, the chart represents the majority of players and what they're doing. And the majority of players are not playing the game. So the all-time peak of 17,000 people, which is not bad, okay? It's not bad. And I was hoping it would go up, but it didn't. All-time peak, 17,000 six months ago. If you go on my channel, I played the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game for an entire week six months ago. I'm pretty sure I actually took the entire week off to play this game from work because I, ex I had high expectations. I wanted this game to be the 3v4 hide and seek game that I wanted to make on this. this is what I wanted this to be my main game. Players right now, both charts are showing different numbers. Currently, I see 588 on SteamDB and 614 um, on Steam charts, okay? Both charts showing different numbers. However, pretty close together, okay? They both agree that 881 players have played in the 24-hour peak, and they both still agree that the players are going down at a massive rate. So, why is the game dying? Let's look at the reviews, because that's the best thing to do in most situations. I don't recommend it, and only because of developers and support. Can only add probably shit, skins, recolors, of course, and support not working. Sent like four times and nothing, game is dying more and more. I wish them to wake up and maybe start doing something and fix the game a little bit. Now, I agree with this. Victims have a lot of stunts, and there is a clip that I'm gonna post right now. There's a clip where I walked up a ladder to try and stop the victims. I think it was his cook. I don't even know why I did it, but I walked up that ladder and I got, you know, whatever. But I got stunned like three times in a row. And they were able to unlock a padlock door, a regular lock door, and then I think a padlock and regular lock on the gate, and they all escaped. And it was ridiculous. That was insane. I don't know how long they were out there for, but I know for a fact that there was a padlock on that one door, and the padlock was not there anymore. After I was done going through, like, three stun animations. It was ridiculous. Yeah, so this leads outside. Okay. There's a padlock. There is a padlock on the gate. Oh, hello. You better figure out your crap real quick, man. You better figure out your crap real quick. <clears throat> three. There's three on me. They're running for the door. Did she unlock the gate already? Yeah, she did. They're gone. All three of them are gone. But it was locked. But it was locked. How did she manage to get past this? How did she get past this, though? There was a padlock on this, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a padlock on this. I had a padlock on it. So she... So in that amount of time, she broke the padlock, unlocked the door, ran to that exit gate, and then unlocked that too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she. So they managed to unlock three doors in the amount of time I was stunned. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Horribly unbalanced once you learn the ultimate stun trick. The game is quickly turning into DVD with victims being favored over killers. I mean, that's a fucking fact. I 100% agree with that. I had high hopes for this game, but the way this game is monetized, the lack of meaningful progression, and the poor approach to balance have pushed me away. The gameplay is fun where your teammates aren't actively sabotaging you, but it just doesn't feel... it. But it just feels terrible when gimmicks you can't counter prevent you from playing. This is going to be a paragraph? Okay, thank God. One of the family's main issue early in the game's history was that nothing could be done to prevent an escape through fuse once it was turned on. Gun's way of combating this was putting this playstyle behind a $10 paywall. Aw, oh, crap. Damn, I didn't even know that was there. It's actually 13 in Canada. 
I may come back when they nerf Danny in a meaningful way, but until then, I'm wait still waiting for an a horror that's on par from a gameplay perspective with you. Exactly, yes. I agree with this one, too. 100% agree. They put Tan they put Danny in there, and the only way to counter Danny is to pay for... Like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> this is that's true. The, P the PlayStation players can't even play the game now. A lot of them are complaining about the devs. And the devs... Even when you have an issue with the game, so they either come back and they'll play the victim card or B, they'll just blame the community for why the game is the way it is. And it's like, what are you talking about? You're a developer, okay? It's good to get feedback, but if you're going to keep changing based on that feedback, it clearly shows that you don't know what you're doing. You should probably stop making fucking games. I'll tell you what, let's talk about the fucking DLC here. The game is on sale for 87 bucks, but let's just go buy the 21.99 so let's see 21.99 okay let's do some calculation Cal can i open up another calculator or no probably not that sucks all right well 21.99 uh this game cost 51.99 so 21.99 currently on sale for eight bucks but we're not gonna go buy that we're gonna go buy the 21.99 uh all yep so let's look at 24.24 i mean that's pretty much on the same 40 what's that plus oops plus that's 46 right there you could probably get like 46 to 51 you could probably get like you could do leatherface right here i mean let's just put leatherface on there for the sake of putting leather i mean leatherface right now is 284 like what the heck? okay oh my god it's, it's profiting, I tell you what. Let's see, 5.69. So for 52.67, a little bit over that game, not by much, uh, you can get the game, the base game, any one of these packs, probably one with the, without Leatherface in it, of course, because it's just, I just put it in there. Uh, I don't even know. It's a, let's, Leatherface isn't free because there's a pack for it. I don't think Leatherface is in this pack either. So just buy one without Leatherface. I can't, I can't really see it. But for, you can get a pack. And I would probably recommend this pack because it has the most OP character in it. Besides, I like Nurse. I like playing Nurse a lot. But it has the most OP character in it. So just get that pack because these other two characters suck. So who cares? Um, so get that pack. And they put uh, Spirit in that one. Which is, I think, the second or third. I think it's the second or third. It's around second or third. I forget what one. But there you go. Uh, but get the first pack. And then you could also just get Leatherface if you really wanted to. Just buy Leatherface straight out. And that's before the DLC. But the DLC is way cheaper. But like 5267, you can get all that. And for 52 bucks, you get the base game. And not only that, but they're also charging you 13 bucks for a single character. One character. In Dead by Daylight, you get two characters besides this. Because that's Nicolas Cage. But only, that's only like 10 bucks. But either way, I mean, I still think 10 bucks is ridiculous for a single character. But that's just me. 8 bucks. 13 bucks, but you still get two characters, I'm pretty sure. You get two new survivors. You get three characters. 13 bucks. Two characters. 8 bucks. I'm pretty sure this is three characters. New killer. You get two. Yeah, you get three characters, 13 bucks. Two characters, eight bucks. Two characters, eight bucks. Two characters, eight bucks. You get one character, six bucks. Three characters, 13 bucks. Like, look at that. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, you are in the same genre, the same atmosphere as Dead by Daylight. Even though you're not technically the same game, you're still in the same atmosphere. So why you're trying to do this... This garbage crap is just ridiculous. It's insane. And they're not even good cosmetics. It's the same it's the same shirt, just just different color. Like it's the same shirt, different color. It's not even like a different style or anything. Like it's it's the same shit. It's all same hair, all same outfits, different color. It's a joke. It's a guy ooh, what's this? It's a goddamn joke. These are all the bloody versions? Those are all the bloody versions. They just took Dead by Daylight. Like, hey, we're just going to put blood on them. Put them in there. You can get charged. You charge them six bucks, seven bucks. Even though Dead by Daylight has that in there, you just have to get the prestige. 
I think you need to get a character prestige six to unlock all three of their pieces. Now, before it was prestige three, you just level a character three times, prestige a character three times to get their blood outfit. I have most of them, but not all of them. And I don't want to go through the prestige six fucking grind. I tell you that. No, thanks. I'm good, bro. Like <laughs> I'm fucking good. Another reason why I don't play that game. I don't have a goal anymore. Once they did that, I was like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. Bye bye. <laughs> but anyway, like it's a joke. It's a, it's a complete joke. It's just a slap in the face. Like, zero respect for the customer. You go over to Dead by Daylight, and it's just... Everything's just way better. They clearly know how to market their game. These guys don't. These guys don't know what the hell they're doing. So it's not hard to see why TCM is falling flat on its face. Especially when devs think that adding cosmetics equals quote-unquote content. Adding cosmetics is not content. It's not content. I want new killers. I want new maps. I want a better perk system for one. The perk system you got in there, fucking trash. It needs to go. It needs to get deleted. That crap sucks. RNG perks are boring. I want to have every single perk. I want to be able to use every single perk. I want to mess around with the builds. You want to make a casual game, but put RNG elements into the fucking perk system. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Everybody day one, I think everybody in the beta said it was a bad idea. No, the perks were locked in the beta, I think. But like, every, I know that at some point during the first week, everybody said that having the perks as RNG is a bad idea. And they, they didn't listen still. It's been six months, still nothing. Like I, like, I have another thing in here in my notes about smack talking the fucking DBD community a little bit because they're in the freaking... Uh, like they're on Twitter recommending the same crap in Dead by Daylight where if someone leaves a match this would be a, a DC timer even though in Dead by Daylight the survivors are complaining that the DC timer should be fucking removed so it's like I'm pretty sure that the, the Dead by Daylight community is just actively trying to shit on this game with their bad ideas okay they're fucking brain dead bad ideas the only time a DC penalty should be in a game is if they put in a rank mode the DC penalty should not be in pub lobbies. You want to put a rank mode in? You want to put a DC penalty in that? Fine, whatever. Go ahead. But in pub lobbies, it should not exist. Should not exist. No thank you. Don't put it in there. It's going to kill your game. Your game's already fucking dead. It's going to make it even worse. You start putting DC timers in there. Just Alt F4 never play the game again. Alt F4 uninstall. Like, <laughs> like what are we talking about here? Okay, so this point right here is a good point. The fact that the victims, when I played, when I first played, almost every victim carried a bone with them. And they were able to escape every single time because they had a bone knife. Once they escaped you, they would immediately go find a bone pile and grab another bone knife. So if you went into a grapple again, they could kill you. I mean, not kill you, but they could stun you, right? So you had to rely on your teammate to come over and get the kill. Because that guy is clearly not hiding. That guy is out in the open, getting bone knives, and stabbing you. He should, you, when that happens, there should be punishment for that. First of all, I don't know why you're getting hit, man. Like, why is a hit, like, it's a hide and seek game. It's hide and seek, man. It's hide and seek. It's not find a killer and drop pallets on killer. Like, it's not that game. I don't get it. <laughs> like, ah. Uh... It's not that kind of game, man. So now, because they want to make it fair to people with full health, who should just have a bone knife no matter what, just put a bone knife in your fucking pocket, bro. You got two slots. Like, ah. Uh, so now, to make it quote unquote fair for the people with full health, they, uh, they made it so that when a family member comes, you don't instantly die. You just get smacked and you're set free. Uh, already don't even like I'm um, bye. <laughs> like what's the point then? Jester yes, so probably the right way to go about it was if the victim wins the close encounter They can't get insta killed until the animation like they can't get hit until the animation's over Basically because I think the problem is right now is you win in that close encounter You even get in the prompt that you've won it But you're still in the animation for like another five seconds and that way you can still get insta killed I don't think that's the right way to go about it who in the right mind is coming out to play in Texas Chainsaw Massacre and feeling like they can do an insidious bubba, like a stealth bubba build, where they're just yeah, know, right? sneak up behind a victim and instantly rev a chainsaw and kill I them. wish, I wish you could have done that. It's that would have been so cool. Right? Like most people, especially at the start of the game, like, just, like you, you know, still hear them thumping around. Um, so the whole buff to that, I suppose, is nice for Leatherface mains. You know, I do play Leatherface on this game, but 
at the same time, I just same. for their reasoning behind it, saying that it's to lead to a stealth bubba build is kind of stupid because it's dumb as shit. You get the yellow highlight in anyway, so you know they're behind you. It's like it's it's ludicrous. There's so many. Really there are so many that. ways. Um, I really like this one. There are so many ways for you to know that Bubba is near you. First of all, you can hear the fucker stomping right behind you. Second, there's like an indicator that lets you. I mean, there is no way you're not gonna know that Bubba isn't behind you unless you had a perk that's like, hey, you, victims can't hear your fucking footsteps, and you won't be. They won't like. You want to make an actual scary game? Just make. Bubba stealthy, like just put in perks that make Bubba stealthy at the start of the match, you know. Just do that. <laughs> it'd be so dope. He finds the victim and just fucking instantly revs the chainsaw. Oh, it'd be so, it'd be so good, dude. Instantly revs the chainsaw, just starts smacking away. <laughs> like, oh, it'd be so good. Ah, oh, but these devs don't have any fucking creativity, man. And their creativity is dumb as shit. Uh, the, the perk changes that they've done as well, um, Confusing Mechanic, I'm not sure really sure who uses Confusing Mechanic. Obviously I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about the perks until they completely get rid of that fucking perk RNG crap. That's, that stuff has to go. There has to be a way to unlock all the perks for every character in the game, period. This RNG stuff is not working. Nobody likes it. I don't like it. I want to mess around with different builds, not RNG builds. So just get rid of it. Um, they want to make every character unique. Uh, they want to make them change the game, have a different play style. You know, I kind of get that. I understand. I get that. that. You know, they don't want to do a whole Dead by Daylight scenario where they introduce a character to the game and they have the same. You know, yeah, they have like the same, the same style of perk, but it's just worded and does something a little bit differently. I, I don't want, I don't want copy paste perks uh, with a bit of a twist. Okay, that's another reason why I don't play Dead by Daylight. I don't want the same copy paste crappy shit perks with a little bit of a twist that are either slightly better or much worse than the original perk. And the thing is, is they started saying like, you know, we want to make our characters to feel unique. We actually sit here and make music playlists about- Yeah, we don't, like, please. It's crazy how much they copy Dead by Daylight, but when the things that they really should be copying Dead by Daylight for, they don't. Like their store, for example. Their store. Oh, I already brought it up. Just go back and watch it again. It's crazy how they'll copy the most ridiculous things for Dead by Daylight that don't even don't even fucking matter. It doesn't even matter. Like who cares what kind of fucking playlist Danny is listening to while being chased by Leatherface? I, I don't care. I straight up don't care. <laughs> like I'd rather see Danny wear something cool and be like, oh, I don't want to kill Danny. Let's fucking cool as shit. I'm going to go find somebody else, even though Danny has to die. Okay, so moving on to some more good points from the dev stream here. We've got some new content dropping in the next 90 days or less, and that's going to be execution packs, which is plural. Listen, I just want to say right now that I don't know why people think skins and execution packs and all this other shit is content. It's not content. It is not content. I don't know why people classify it as content. It's not. You want to give me a new map? Sure. You want to give me some new characters to play? Sure. That's content. It's fucking expensive content. The map's free though, which is good. But like 12 bucks for, 13 bucks for a character is insane. I'm not paying 13 bucks for a character. But I mean, that's where the content is. Is new characters. Keeping the game fresh with different roles and different play styles. I don't give a crap what the execution is. I could use the default execution for all I care. The only reason why I have a different execution is because the pack that I got was free. I haven't spent a dime in this fucking game. I got the free pack and that's it. I was like, oh cool, a free pack. I'm gonna just download it. That's it. I was not gonna support this game until I knew for sure that it was going in the right direction. Then I was gonna drop some money into it. But until I saw that, I was not dropping a fucking dime. So no, skins, fucking battle pass, ex execution packs, freaking whatever the hell you always want to call it. Those are not content. That is not content. That is not going to keep your game alive. Even if you put in like a different variant or a different layout of a map currently, that I would still classify that as content over skins and packs and shit like that. Okay. At least it's something different. At least it's something new, unique. Okay? And I'm not talking about changing the freaking, like, day to night and freaking night to dusk and all that crap. Like, I, that's, 
I don't give a crap about that. You're changing the freaking time. It takes like, what, 10 seconds to do that? I don't care. Getting a new victim and a new family member. And they said that's going to be close to uh, three months away from now. So that's good. Okay, so, I mean, that's good. That's content, but that's three months away. Your game is dying now, man. Your game is dying right now. You cannot be taking Dead by Daylight ta tactics and applying it to your game. It's dying. It's Your game is dying because you can't add stuff fast enough. Okay? Like, I can understand holding off the actual content for like three months. But you got to start doing stuff like now. Like, there needs to be an update every like... At least two updates every month at this point because it's just so much crap that's broken it can't even sustain itself. <laughs> Fucking insane to think about. Like we're gonna. Be I know right? it's you know, ridiculous. Four, months without any more new characters being brought to the game. Yeah. Um, and that's probably with the new map as well. We are getting the new map called um, the Mill, which is like an abandoned sawmill. To be fair, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be um, totally honest here. I really like the design of the new map. I think it looks awesome. However, the timing of this is just kind of all over the place it's right bad. now for the state of the game. And, you know, I think we were expecting... If, if they're going to release um, updates and fixes every month leading up to that DLC release, I could also accept that. But there's a good chance that they ain't going to do that. A bit faster to be put into the game at this point with how stale it is. Yeah. It's kind of fucking insane to be thinking that we're not going to be getting a new map or any new characters until another three months so we'll just let that sink in really yeah, i don't know why they're doing the dbd night, tactics like that it's crazy bride sissy for free which is a free skin of her wearing like a wedding dress which to be honest i think could be a cool design they never showcase this that's cool and then they did for free shirtless johnny which is going to be a free cosmetic as well also yeah, cool that's free people people have this weird obsession with shirtless characters like what the fuck is wrong with y'all shirtless johnny to the game by the way for all you thirsty people out there i thought it was a load of bullshit if i'm being totally honest they said the designer that created johnny actually had an original concept of him being shirtless so it was cool for him to go back to his notes and to uh, really deep dive into the human physique and how it would look and how he would strut his stuff basically i was just like what the actual fuck it's a shirtless it's a mod character. dude somebody's already modded it into the yeah game. there's already a mod for it yeah it's like we don't need to be overthinking these things and this is the problem you know we don't have to worry about the posturizing of the fucking shirtless johnny character like he's obviously going to have the same animations you know he's going to have it's same... it's just dbd people playing the game that's all it is it's just dbd people with dbd ideas doing the same dbd shit the devs even even copying dead by daylight but they don't know how because they're fucking brain dead like that's all it is uh, you might as well just go play dead by daylight at this point like straight up you might as well just go back and play that game <laughs> like body like, this game is going to slowly become dead by daylight but worse than that and it, it's already proven because it's dying yeah he's got a little bit of chest there he's got his shirt hanging out of his jeans um for all those shirtless johnny people i'm i'm kind of happy it's ridiculous man i'm added to the game but you know you're gonna have to wait like within the next 90 days for that which is uh kind of crazy to think that we've already got a mod for shirtless johnny on pc and the devs are kind of just you know, sitting in there, sitting on their thumbs right now, and we're just like, well, waiting for that. They asked about a battle pass, and when I asked them about a battle pass, and the, the response extremely fucking pissed me off to where they turned around and just said, oh, well, a battle pass doesn't fit in our game, really. Um, but we're going to be doing this currency, and then they didn't even expand upon. We already knew they were going to be adding currency to the game. They didn't even give us an update on what stage that's at. Honestly, it sounds like a load of whole shit to me at this point. Um, with the currency and the battle pass, the reason why they're not doing a battle pass is because they don't want to give away free skins for like a bunch of free skins for like 10 bucks. Okay. It's crazy how people complain about the battle pass and that Fortnite started the battle pass yet. Every single fucking game, somebody asks about a battle pass and then they put the battle pass in the game and clearly enough people are buying it for them not to take it out of the games. And now every single game that comes out has to have a fucking battle pass. Like what? Whatever. I mean, that's 10 bucks of free shit. But, like, I'm telling you right now that these devs are not going to do that. Especially with their game dying. They're going to try and milk as much as they can out of this community by selling cosmetics in the bundles for however much they're going to sell it for, okay? And that currency thing is... There's a good chance to me, honestly, that that currency thing is never going to come. There's a good, very good chance that that currency thing we will never, ever see. Ever reaching this game. Because the currency is designed to unlock old characters and to just play the game to keep uh, racking up those currencies to then spend it on a character that you want to unlock for free. 
it, again, the same thing with Dead by Daily with the freaking shards. Every single idea asked about in this game has been directly taken from Dead by Daylight and put right into this game. I'm telling you, man, just go play Dead by Daylight. Like, just go play that game instead. That's all it is left in this community is the Dead by Daylight people. That's the only people left in this community. <laughs> That's the only people playing this fucking game is the Dead by Daylight players. That's it. So anyway, we're not going to see that. There's no pot. There's no way. It's not going to happen. I guarantee it. And, then, and if, if it does happen, I will be shocked. Holy crap, I will be shocked. Obviously, the lobby timer will be removed in the next patch as well. So that The lobby timer is getting removed because there's not enough people filling up lobbies quick enough for the timer to stay there for like, I don't know, what is it? 60 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever the heck it is. So it's supposed to be getting removed. I heard in uh, some forums that it's not removed. Uh, and then someone said it's fixed. I have no idea what's going on there. I should just open up the game and just test it. But but the game's dead and I ain't waiting fucking anyway. Um, but the reason why the lobby timer is getting removed is because there isn't enough people joining quick enough to actually launch the game. And by people, I mean family members. The family members have all abandoned this game. It is just victims left. And the family, again, the family members is just done with it. It's the same thing with Dead by Daily, where every single time survivors get some bullshit and it's like, okay, well, what did the killers get? What do we get to try and combat this, to try and counter this shit? And nothing, you know? But it's even worse in this game because the devs cater towards the casual play. And the people playing the game casually, for the most part, is the victims. Okay? It's the victims that mostly play casual. The family members all have to, like, talk and communicate and try and... Because that's, that's, like, that's just by default. Like, you have to do that. Uh, the family members, you could, but you don't really have to. Um, but of course, if you do, you're going to escape nine times out of ten. Uh, I'm going to go back to saying what I said when this first game first released, when I played it in the beta, to be honest, is that you should not be, even before the beta, actually, you should not be designing a PvP game to be a casual game. It is not going to work. It's just simply not going to. Okay? Because those casual players will eventually turn into either really shit players, okay, they're gonna just remain shit and be shit for the rest of their life at a fucking game they're playing for like four, five, six, eight years, still shit, or they're gonna eventually turn into like that more competitive PvP style where they actually know what the fuck they're doing kind of people, okay? So please don't fucking balance the game for shit players that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Just leave them in the fucking sidelines, okay? Balance it for like the middle to, to almost like very competitive players. I don't know about sports, like esports wise, okay? Those are kind of fucking crazy. But like, balance it middle and up, okay? Leave the fucking noobs in the dirt. Bye bye. Figure it out or stay shitty. Like, it is what it is, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know what my point was now. I went off on a, on a rant. That should help with the lobby issues. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's why they took out the timer, anyway. <laughs> For that reason. Uh, the family member is gone. They're done with this game. They're moving on to something else. Cool. Um, and they also said something about the lobby issues as well, where they didn't want to <laughs> penalize players for leaving lobbies. That's, that is actually good to hear. Because if they start doing that, the game is 100% going to die. Okay? In Dead by Daylight, I already said this before. In Dead by Daylight, you are penalized for leaving lobbies. I'm not, I, I don't think you're penalized for leaving lobbies, but you are penalized for leaving matches. If you're in a match, there's a timer that you get when you leave a game. Okay? And I said this before. That should not exist in pub games. It should only exist in rank mode, okay? If Dead by Daylight wants to add a rank mode and then add penalties for leaving the rank mode matches, that's fine. You want to put that in a pub lobby? No, it's going to pretty much, like, no one's going to give a shit. It's going to kill your game pretty much. I would say kill it fast, but, like, there's 17,000 people playing Dead by Daylight, plus more on console. Who knows? I mean, Dead by Daylight is Dead by Daylight. Uh, but there are survivors, like I said, fighting to remove that DC penalty. So what is that? I mean, it was, it was the survivors that wanted it to punish the killers for leaving the matches. And now all of a sudden it's the survivors that want to remove it to once again, punish the killers for actually staying in the match. I mean, here we are. <laughs> and they said that we're maybe thinking about doing that now. Um, and yeah, they should not do it. 
They 100% sure let him finish that fucking sentence. Hold up. I'm, I'm literally sitting there just saying, yeah, you have to fucking do it because you've got to get control of the player base. Otherwise, you know, we're just going to have free roam, dodging through lobbies, trying to get the perfect game every single time. There's too much. No, I'm telling you right now, if they put in that DC penalty, the game is dead. You're going to have zero family members unless you can balance the game equally. You either have to put in a ranked mode or do better balancing. Because I swear to God, once someone sees a character that they don't want to fucking go against, they're gone. They're leaving that match. And it, it's going to kill your game. You put a DC penalty in this game, I swear to God, it will kill your game. No one's going to want to play it. So many people like that. And I swear to God. And yeah, I mean, you can blame the players for that. It's not really the dev's fault. It is people just overthinking the situation way too much and being too competitive with the game to the point where we can't actually fucking play it, which is, you know. It's a PvP game. It's a, it's a PvP game. What do you mean? You're supposed to be competitive in a PvP game. Like, don't play a PvP game then. Go play fucking Power World. Get out of here. <laughs> Know, kind of pathetic so the devs have to do something about oh, it. it's like a pvp game man that and help with the lobby time go play something so, else so yeah that's all my notes from the dev stream and yeah i mean it, oh. it's kind of lackluster if i'm being honest there wasn't really any other good things to talk about i put in all the highlights there okay it's okay thanks i'm just gonna wait what so is let me say? just give you my thoughts on this okay i don't care but, uh, why are you why are you doing this in PvP games? Why are you trying to turn PvP games into casual games? It's not gonna work. It's not going to work. Either add a rank mode. Just add a rank mode. Just add a rank mode to your PvP games with a leaderboard. Just do that. They'll all shift over there instead. It'll be a little bit easier for the pubs. Okay. Oh, why are we doing this, man? I don't understand. It makes me so mad all the time. Every time. Let's close all this. Anyway, there's another video I want to talk about. Holy crap. I'm going to lose brain cells. Uh, I think this is about the devs uh, talking smack, like I said earlier. Obviously, the numbers will be different. The base numbers are going to be a lot smaller on PC and a mm -hmm. lot bigger on uh, Game Pass because it's free there. But the trend is still what matters. It's not free. You got to pay 10 bucks a month. It's not game pass is not free. So you're paying 12 bucks a month for games to rent games. By the way, you don't even own the game. You're renting it. So it's joined for a dollar now, but eventually it'll turn into 12 bucks a month. So the game is not free. You're paying 12 bucks a month to play a lot of games and you're renting games. Game pass is basically blockbuster, but you can't. You can't keep the freaking thing that you rented. <laughs> like, you don't have the physical game, DVD, VHS, whatever. You don't have that physical thing in your hand that you can be like, I ain't bringing this back, bitch. <laughs> you know? Basically block Blockbuster, but you can't rip them off. I, I visit the Reddit maybe once every couple of weeks to see what's going mm -hmm. on. I should have went there. Uh, I don't even have support, Reddit. A lack of feedback, and the developers, at least some of them, they just straight up act like children. They're just yep. like the most immature devs I've ever seen but in my life. So but sad. I will go out and say, I completely understand not sitting there and taking shit from people that have nothing of value to say. Mm -hmm. If you're a game 100%. developer and someone says, your game fucking sucks, fix your game, you stupid yeah. blah, 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 you fucking suck. Yeah. That's not really criticism. It's not, you're yeah. to defend yourself against that. Yes. Completely fine. 100%. But the problem is, a lot of the times, people will actually offer, like, good, under, like, actual detailed feedback. Mm -hmm. And these devs will just still make fun of them. They will. It's like, this is a really common thing. Like, I see this shit everywhere. In fact, every single top post this past week is just about how the devs are just shitting on people complaining about very real issues with the game. Yeah. Like, every single one of them. It's just... Yeah, that, this, is, this was the video that I wanted to bring up first, but I, I forgot that it was the second link. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, the devs, when something happens, they blame the community. It's everybody else's fault but theirs. They're the victim. And it's like, I don't give a shit what you think you are. Please make the game better. We're trying to help you to make the game better. You're not taking the feedback. You're not accepting the criticism, the actual constructive criticism. You're not accepting it. And instead you're going on Twitter and bitching like babies. Like put your put your fucking man pants on and get out there and make the game better with what you're telling you, with what with the information that we are providing you for free, by the way. Like we paid for the game. We're giving you feedback for free to try and make it better. And you're just com bitching and complaining about it. Like whoever's whoever's bitching and complaining about it, I think it's that Mac guy. That guy needs to be fired. Get that fucking guy out of there. All 
Honestly, it seems... Yeah, that guy. Matt from Gun. Get that fucking guy out of there. He's not helping you at all. This guy right He's actually now. making you look worse. They're just not taking criticism well at all. And I think this is something that Behavior used to do really badly as well. Yeah, they did. To say that they did something wrong, they would honestly act... I mean, behave, Behavior still kind of does that. They're a bit stubborn when it comes to their game too. But it's not, it's not as bad as what it was, okay? It's not as bad. But I mean, they're still stubborn. Kind of like how McLean did. But I don't think I don't think I've seen DBD do this though. But I haven't really been with DBD that long. I've been with them since like 2017, and I never got involved in the way with Dead by Daylight as I have with this game. Okay, I'm not even near the extent of it. Okay. In his one video where I was going over some changes, he felt like personally insulted. I think he mellowed out a lot about that uh, more because it was nothing personal. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I, I do understand that. I understand where that comes from. When you have something that you worked on and you have people shitting on it. Yep. Yeah, that sucks. But if you are a game developer, you have to realize that these people are complaining about things because they mm -hmm. want to keep playing your game. They want to keep playing the game, yeah. Your game. They just want the you to fix it. What can happen is no one talks about your game. That's the absolute worst That's thing. That's the worst thing. It's much better to have people complaining than no one talking at all. Yep. So, yeah, it does suck when things you personally worked on are getting, you know, shit on by the community. I yeah. completely understand that. But you really got to handle it better than this. You can't just, like, be mm -hmm. a professional victim the entire time. Yes, some people will say completely unnecessary rude things to you. But if you are a game dev, you have to learn to take some of that shit on the chin. Some of it is actually criticism. I've never had a mental breakdown over gamers. <laughs> even though you just made a tweet about... <laughs> even though you just made a tweet about it. <laughs> I mean, the third one's already a lie. <laughs> uh, Matt, Matt should get... If Matt can't get his attitude straight, he should get fired, though. I mean, I don't know how you can let that go on. And it's just unprofessional. It's unprofessional. So he either has to get his... He has to get his shit straight or he needs to be fired. That's the, the two options. Get your shit straight or just be fired because you're not helping. You're not helping by making tweets like that. Criticism. Some of it's horrible shit, but you can't. Uh, the first one I agree with. That is not crit criticism, okay? But the other two, I mean, the other two I can agree to. It's whatever. The third one is def. Like he definitely told. Like you made a tweet, bro. <laughs> like you made a tweet. Can't get one guide either. This is something I've learned from Twitch too, and we all fall prey to this sometimes. So I will sympathize even with that. Mm -hmm. Getting one guide is 99% of people are like, hey, this is awesome. This is cool. This is great. But one guy is like, fuck you. This sucks. And then yep. you just, and you just focus on that guy. Else, and yep. you just focus on that one guy and attribute the entire community to that one to guy. To that guy. Asshole. Yeah. And that, it seems like, is what these guys are doing, like, mm -hmm. nonstop. Most of it is just not needless bitching. It's just like, hey, we don't like this change. This change is very, very silly. I don't think this is a good idea. Um, and then they're just met res with responses, basically like children. And yep. that just puts zero faith. In your game devs, I'm sorry. I would have yep. no faith in these guys. Zero faith. They yep. literally act like children sometimes. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. I understand needing to defend yourself, but a lot mm -hmm. of it is actually real criticism that they're just ignoring because, frankly, I don't just don't think they give a shit. It seems like they don't really They, care they really don't. You're proofing the game. This is another reason I quit. It seemed like there was no future plan for the game. It was not built to last. Mm -hmm. No, the, the future plan for them was making a bunch of cosmetics as content. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I think it was... I think it was cosmetics first, real content second, or maybe just not even there. <laughs> the 13th was not really built to last, uh, and none of them are lasting, so mm -hmm. that's what's going on with this game. It seems like it's a combination of lack of game de depth, uh, very slow updates. Yep. Um, the actual monetization system is super janky. Trash. Freaking trash is what it is. To play something new, so that can suck. Then because of that, the lobbies take forever to load. The dwindling player base makes the lobbies take even longer to load. Yeah. Uh, and with that freaking, if they put in that fucking game penalty, it's going to take even longer for them to load because now people have to wait like 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes just to get back into another game. I don't understand. I don't understand the thinking behind the fucking, pen the match behind the penalty. I don't understand the fucking thinking. Like you think... 
Uh, you're complaining about lobbies taking longer, but people aren't going to willingly sit in the game that they're fucking losing. They're just going to Alt F4 out of there. Even if you took the fucking quick match button away, people will either Alt F4 or just straight up turn off their PCs to get the fuck out of that match. You can't stop people from leaving a game. They will Alt F4, turn off the console, turn off the fucking PC. They'll unplug their fucking power for all they give a shit to get the fuck out of that game. You ain't going to stop people from leaving a match, okay? You're not. It's not going to happen, okay? So putting on a, P a DC penalty to then still complain about the lobbies taking longer to fill up is it's redundant it's stupid thinking the logic behind that doesn't make any fucking sense at all <laughs> okay like what are you talking about let's put a dc penalty in for people that are leaving matches oh we can't have the lobbies don't fill up quick enough why 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 aren't the lobbies filling up quick enough i don't know maybe because you put a fucking dc penalty and now i gotta wait 10 minutes to get into a fucking lobby like <laughs> as a, as as like one of the fucking 10 family members still playing the goddamn game <laughs> Some of them. I, That's I why. Them, honestly, the ones I see posting on social media. Oh, are like absolute babies and children. Uh, stupid. So dumb. And on top Don't of add that, that, please. It seems like most of the game's player base is reliant on Game Pass. And Game Pass doesn't last forever. They probably got about, what, six more months of Game Pass? Then what? Yeah, that, exactly, that's yeah. The only reason it wasn't going to be on Game Pass for long. So that's where I heard it from. ...lifespan before it straight up dies. Because yeah. by then we're going to have three to 400 players on Steam if the trajectory holds, which I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah, um, I mean, to be honest... At some point, it's not even going to be worth keeping their fucking game on Game Pass. They're, it's, they're, they're not going to be making enough money from it. So, I mean, they're going to have to take it down eventually. I think that's starting to where you can call it a dead game. You can still yeah. find lobbies, but in a game where you have to have a specific role for a character, so even then you're going to have people dodging lobbies with only 300 average players in any yeah. given they took, they took the... Oh, no, wait, yeah, no. There's still specific roles because you can't have, like, three sissies playing the same game. No, that's true. You can't have, like, three honors playing the game. Four honors. I mean, if there was four honors in a fucking lobby, I'm leaving that shit. Bye bye. <laughs> That's going to be dead as shit. No thanks. So, I don't see any way that this game comes back up, especially with the devs, unless they completely do a 180 on their attitude. But they got to do a 180. Um, this is pretty much exactly what I thought would happen. That's why I got out of the game so quickly. Yeah. Um, which same. To be the correct decision, but it is still it's true. To see that this is happening to a another game in the genre that we. I agree. Love, and it's. I really wanted this to be my main game. Developers' stubbornness, I guess. So. That's Yo. what's going on there. Anyway, thanks for watching. No problem. No problem, man. Yep, that's exactly... I, w I really wanted the Texas Chainsaw to be my main game on this channel. And it's looking like it's just not going to be that game. So, all in all, guys, I had hopes for this game considering these devs made Fight of the 13th. you think that they'd have learned from the mistakes from that game. But they clearly didn't, and it's getting even worse. Uh, I'm going to be honest, if the devs even make or consider making a third game, I, for one, am definitely not going to buy that game because that game is not going to last that long considering that two games that they've made already don't last that long. And I hope that anyone that has license does not license their game out to these developers because they don't know what the hell they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. At this point... The game either need the game needs somebody to push those developers to make a good game because that game is gonna die fast and all that money that went into the licensing licensing and making of that game is is just gonna be wasted. I mean they hurt their reputation at this point. And I mean it looks like it's gonna get shut down pretty freaking soon. I don't even think they're gonna make it to the next fucking DLC patch. I'm gonna be honest. I know that this video is kinda long, but if you enjoyed this kind of content, please leave a like on the video. It helps me a lot. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. If you're still playing it, what you agree and don't agree with, all in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Chit Chats the Podcast. I don't know how to end this podcast yet, so I'm going to just say bye-bye.